Mr. Hahn coming to you live from the halls of Cross Lutheran School. Time for another thrilling and exciting mathematical note-taking session. Uh, this one's kind of a new one, so it's a new word we probably don't use very often, but it's not really a new concept. So I am going to present my screen here. You're going to take out a blank piece of paper. And today's little topic of choice is going to be proportions. Proportions. Find my pen and get my stuff ready. Take one last swallow of coffee. Grab my little handy dandy note taker thing here. So here we go. Proportions. Um, like I said, it's a new word, but it's something that we've done multiple times before. Really, it's nothing more than making equal rates or ratios. And simply put, it is nothing more than making equal fractions. That's really the whole spiel. Okay. And a proportion is, well, I'm going to get too crazy here. Let me find my right book. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for example, and there's a couple different ways you will see it a lot. Sometimes they'll just put it in fraction form. You know, for example, you know, they could just say that three fourths equals six over what number? And again, remember, all you're going to be doing is this, making equal fractions and saying 3 times 2 is 6, so 4 times 2 is 8. But here is how they will phrase a proportion. Um, sometimes they'll write it out in words like this. Boom, boom, boom. 4 is to 6 as 6 is two, um, four is to six as six is two. Oh, I'm sorry, wait, let me change that. Four is to six as eight is to what number? Okay. And then you just have to keep these things straight. 4 is to 6. Okay, when we write that, it is just fractionally like this. 4 is to 6. The as is the equal sign. And then this is the other fraction you want. 8 is to what number? So this is my proportion. Uh, and you have to remember what proportion means. Proportion simply means as one gets bigger, other things grow bigger in the same kind of at the same pace at the same rate. So four times two here is eight, and six times two there is twelve. So that would be your answer for that. Um, it's really just that simple there. Sometimes they will ask you. What ratio forms a proportion with a number? So here's an example right from the book. What ratio forms a proportion with um, two thirds? In other words, any fraction that's equal to two-thirds is proportional to it. Here are my choices. Letter A is two-fourths. Choice B is three-fourths. Choice C is four-sixths. And choice D is three-halves. Okay, now remember, the deal is, you know, you have to... Whatever you multiply the top by, you have to multiply the bottom by. So if you were thinking two-thirds comparing it to this, well, to get the top, I multiply by one. So it can't be this because this is out of whack. Three-fourths, same thing here. If you have that, does it equal two-thirds? 
well, I can't even figure out what times two gives me three, so I'm gonna say no here. How about this one, two thirds, well, if you look, two times two is four, and three times two is six, so yes. This one is the proportion to the other one. Or at other times, they will just ask you to write the proportion. Write the proportion. And the book will say, uh, 6 is to 8 as 9 is to 12. 6 is to 8 as 9 is to 12. They just want me to write that out in fractional form. So it's just going to, again, this is the first part. 6 is to 8 as is the equal sign. 9 is to 12. And believe it or not, that is proportional. It's a little bit more difficult than what we've been doing, but it is. Um, it is proportional. And the last one here. We'll do one more of these and then call it a day. Write and complete the direction, say. Write and complete. Uh, da, 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 da. Six is to nine. Six is to nine as what number is two thirty six? So again, order is incredibly important here, sixth grade. Six is to nine. Six is to nine as now note in this case, this one, what number is on top? It's the first one listed. So what number is 236? And then if you look at the answer to this, if you make your equal fraction here, 9 times 4 is 36, and 6 times 4 is 24. So that would be the number that completes that proportion. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all there is to it. Thanks for listening. It was a short but exciting one.